<laughs> hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart here. Doers 19. I had to look to see if we'd reviewed this one. We haven't. Yeah, it's hard to tell with Doers, but we're going to test it. 19 year blended whiskey. Blended style. whiskey style. So I figured you were going. <laughs> I know I had to look. I was like, have we done that one? Doers 18, we had done a okay. few years ago. But 19 called the Champions and Edition. So I don't even know. I was kind of like, is we that new? Are the champions. Is it newer? Is I it didn't remember. It's kind of an odd oh, it's year. Sealed. It's yep. kind of an odd year. Yeah, 19. 19. Yeah. 15, 18, 21. I mean, that's sure. Like that. Yeah. 19 was a good year for me. I like 19. When you were 19 or 2019? Yeah. 19. 19. Just 19. When I was 19, I liked it. Yeah. I don't know. One of those. Yeah, no. Well, what you were it? in college. I wasn't in college yet. Oh. I'd, uh, I, I'm yet to go into the Army. So, the Army gave me the money for college. I will. Four years first, so sir. Thank you. I like how you were presenting. Oh, I'm wearing got a nice army. nose. Boom. Oh, really? I can smell it. It's my team. Smell it. I like how you say smell it. I can smell you it. Smell it. Like a little chug, chug, chug. Of yeah, the like a little bottle. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, it's like it was designed to make a, a pleasant noise. Oh, there was some uh, reel on on uh, Instagram the other day, and it was an, an Irishman, but he was like, "I just love whiskey. I love the taste of it. I love the smell of it. I love the pop of the cork. I love the glug glug glug, 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 glug as it goes yeah. into my glass. I just love everything about whiskey." <laughs> But he had the better, <laughs> yeah, better yeah. Irish accent. Yeah, yeah. it's a little more, <laughs> more sing-song. Oh, yeah. Okay, the Champions Edition. This was for the 122nd U.S. Open. Oh. So that's, uh, is that tennis, mm, I think? Golf. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're big into golf in Ireland. Ah, uh, it's true. I think it was invented there, wasn't it? I don't know. Mm. Uh, forty-three percent ABV, a little bit of bump in the ABV there. Not bad. I bet you we're gonna say by the end. I wish this was 45, 46. 46. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty milliliter. <laughs> I like when they splurge, baby. I've even got when I do splurge. when I do lives with the SMWS doing the outturn previews. Yeah. If somebody always comments about Bart and the oh. seven fifty now, really? Yeah, it's crossed over. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Because yeah. it will be like, no, because most 99% of ours now are 700 milliliters. Terrible. And so that comes up each Terrible. time. And they're like, yeah. Bart would not be. No, Bart would please. be pissed. Yeah, I got to show it. I'm in revolt, <laughs> but I'll still drink it. All right. We don't need too much intro nope. into Dewar's. I think everybody knows what Dewar's is. Okay. I was looking to see if this was a blended malt scotch whiskey. It is not. It's a blended scotch whiskey. So that means there's some grain in here. Very nice. Right. Good touch on that. I, I guess I assumed it would be a blended. Yeah. Not malt. Well, some, sometimes you get, well, sometimes you'll get the blended malt scotch whiskey, which means Compass it's all malt. Sing, it's all yeah, malt. Compass Box does blended malts mostly. Well, I mean, the doers may have some uh, blended malts. Uh, Johnny Walker 15 is a blended malt, mm. but I think most of the others with them are blended scotch. Got it. So have and some. And they're the big boys. They sell only millions of gallons. Yeah. <laughs> And well, Dewar's is going to be up there with them though too, right? Um, and all Chivas, the blended, but, yeah, those all kill. Yeah, people forget. Fact is, we had reviewed uh, several several years ago, which we're at ten. We just passed our ten year mark, by the way, for doing reviews. We're ten, which is I saw this old shirt for twelve hours of boom. I was like, nice. I don't wear that. Mm. This was actually the second. We have we're going to have to get to the whiskey here soon. The first uh, shirt that we had for the first twelve hours of boom had twelve hours of boom across it. Now, this was the second edition because we just took the boom wow. part. That's, that's, that's enrapturing. And then Bart is too old now for 12 hours of oh, boom. Oh, God, yeah. I his, can't even sit for his 12 hours. taint can't handle it. This, that's Let's get true. into the whiskey. That is true. We'll leave it off with the taint can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not getting It's a very muted nose to me. Mm. I don't know. No, it's citrusy, honeyed, vanillaed. Faint citrus, faint honey. Yeah. And I don't know about, okay, that's probably vanilla, but it was like a, uh, it, the vanilla was like the stick of the dip, the dip candy. The, mm. the oh, vanilla, yeah. uh -huh. faint, faint vanilla. Yeah, yeah. Really, it's kind of what I expected. Um, 
I didn't expect anything like a big blast of peat coming out at me. I didn't expect a blast of sherry. I didn't oh, yeah. expect, you know, any of those big notes. I really kind of expected a 19-year-old doer's mellow, smooth, maybe just a little bit richer because it's 19 years old. But let's find out. That's part of my fear. I like a whiskey that's a little more enveloping and in your face. And... That makes me a cheap date because as it gets to be 19 years old, to me, everything gets too mellowed out. Citrus notes, a bit of a floral, honey vanilla mm -hmm. on the finish. Mm. Maybe a touch of graham cracker. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you? Yeah, it's actually, I mean, it's pretty nice. It's, it's not as 43%. I feel like uh, Winnie the Pooh here, he's grabbed the... The, the pot of honey. I love that as a kid with the little bees flying. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he's just dipping, dipping it, into the and honey. It's spilling all over. It's spilling barrel. all over. <laughs> almost like a little bit of like a tree sap as well with it. Almost a little bit of a maple, uh, but caramel, vanilla. Really, like I say, it's about what I was expecting. It's really nice. This is, this is a good sipper, but there's nothing um, no. bold here. Mm -mm. It's it's what you'd it's what you'd expect, I think. But it might be a shade better than what you'd expect. Overall, do you have the twelve here? I'm yeah, probably not. Uh, it's probably in your back room. Probably not. Because I'm thinking I'd almost like the twelve better than this. Uh, I doubt it. Yeah, it tastes too muted to me. Really? But maybe that's the the nature of it. Hmm. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> It's not bad. I like Dewar's. I like the Dewar's 12. I don't mind blended. To me, when it's somehow made like the champion edition and it's fancy and it's 19 and it's for the U.S. Open, I'm, I'm a little bit like, whatever. But I don't want to be a single malt snob either. I love massive amounts of flavor from things that would be in this general area. <laughs> yes, but this we is, have to we have to review I know, I know. I know. I'm just standard saying standard off of the shelf whiskeys. Right. I'm with you. But that's the problem. I think once you've gone single malt, it's hard to go back. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean there's some, but I do see it's marked gluten free on the <laughs> label, just in case. <laughs> Good thing to know. <laughs> You know what they should put on here? Oh. Sugar-free as well. There's no sugar in here. What are you thinking? Gluten-free. No, just in free. case. I was, what the heck? Why would they put gluten-free? <laughs> oh, here it is. Just in case. I've, oh, I've, hey. I've, I've, loaded, I've, noted, I've uh, located a magnifier wow. in case we need it because our eyesight, no. we've been a lot of a, a light. Uh -uh. Well, some of them so. will have a light on it. Oh, Ooh, it's even got an extra zoomer. Yeah, yeah. So you can even but zoom in tighter. That's a great purchase. Ten, ten years ago, we had no issue reading labels. Uh, I'd be like, what's Ralph? You need one of those for? You just all look of, at it. All of a sudden, the last year or two, mm -hmm. we need a magnifier. Yeah. So. Yep. Look at that. And then you got your little bonus one. Man, that's sharp. I'm, I'm more thrilled with this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nicely done, sir. Wonder what I, you're looking for. What? I think it meets expectations. Yeah, it's what I expected. Sure. Nineteen not, year old. Right. Doers. I know. The problem is, what were your Blended expectations? Scotch. That's what you're leaving us right here. Yeah, what's in the glass? I know, but your expectations I, were low. That's what I'm saying. We, yes. Yeah. I'm not even trying to mm. be offensive or anything. I'm just at that ABV. I need something punchy. I was hoping for more. More, well, malt was what I was hoping for. <laughs> put the water in. I thought maybe it would have a little more malty flavor. I don't know why. Throw a drop of water. Mm -hmm. Little li literal drop. Um, you know, I don't mind it though. It's it is. It's, I mean, for forty three percent, it's got it's a rich. I get almost a very very slight hint of peat, almost a little bit of smoke in there. Very very faint. But it's just, it's honeyed. I like the graham cracker. Yeah, it's vanillas, a cracker, vanilla, honeysuckle finish. Caramel. It's almost, uh, it's almost what you'd expect from like a first fill or a second, well, probably go second fill bourbon barrel. You're just getting those, those caramels, the vanillas. Mm. Yeah, okay. You know, that okay. light oak, honeys. 
But let's try it with a drop of water, just see if it did anything. Mm. The water might have opened up a little bit of a spice. I got just a touch of mm. like a, an unknown kitchen spice. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a little, a little bit more. There's some cinnamon I hadn't called out. Maybe a little nutmeg. Mm. I'll go cinnamon. I don't get cinnamon. Hmm. It's some kind of like, I don't know. It's combining with the graham cracker crust. So I'm not sure what it is. Maybe an almond. I'm not sure. There's some kind of slight nutty. nuttiness. Yeah. Good. Good. All right. All right. Score it. Um, I'm not very thrilled when I see, well, 84. Oh, I was going 85. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I won't disagree with you that it's kind of what I expected. I yeah. thought maybe with the 19, it might have something, you know, over a 12. That's what I was thinking. I almost like the 12. I think out of my blendeds, I actually do like the 12 year doers over the Chivas and over the Johnny Walker. I think I like the doers better. We did when we did a the shootout. We did the shootout with those three. Yeah. And I think one of us liked the doers, one of us me. liked the shit, and I think I liked the shit us blind. We did yes. it blind. We did it blind, and I think I liked the doers better. It surprised me because I yeah. thought I was going to like the Johnny Walker. We did Johnny Walker Black. Johnny Walker know. Black because it's 12. Yeah. We did the 12. Right. Yeah. She was 12, yes. Johnny Walker Black, right. and the doers. And I picked the doers. So I'm not anti doers. I'm not even anti blended whiskey. Um, I think Compass Box has shown what you can do even with older blends of, of your whiskey. So I'm not anti on this. It's just. Part of it is the proof. The flavors are very light and muted. This would be okay, great but, for some new person. Well, that's just it. Yeah, when you look at the genre of people buying this off of the shelf, you know, uh, do people that buy Chivas, Doers, Johnny Walker, yeah. blended whiskeys right. at 40, 43 percent. Sure. I think this this is a very good whiskey for those people. But this is half the problem. They're not even done yet. They're going to add in seltzer water. They're going to Maybe. put a seltzer, and then they're going to throw that in there. Maybe. That's, well, I'm just saying. Maybe. That when I'm at, like, events, and they, I, I will go up and be like, what do you got? And they've got one scotch, and sometimes it's a Dewar's or a Johnny Walker. And I go, yeah, I'll just take that. And they go, they throw in a bunch of ice, and they're like, you want the seltzer? And I, no. Huh, matter of fact, get that ice out of there, too. And they're like, ooh, really? Like you're some kind of crazy man. Yeah. Real. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, uh, it's already proofed down. So, but right. I'm going to guess this was $90, which is going to piss me off. 70 I think it's $69. Okay, not quite pissed off. <laughs> no, it's a very good whiskey for that. There's a lot worse whiskeys out there for more money. Well, I won't disagree with you there. And it's $750, baby. I'm going to give it a bonus for that. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you like what we do, it's been down a little bit. But if you enjoy the banter, you like the show, you like what we do and how funny we look, usually me, not him, go to Patreon, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support for a dollar a month. Come on. You can be a little more generous and do a dollar a video. There's usually 12 videos a month. That helps us out a lot. But if eight. you do $2, eight, dang it, I was thinking the old days. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Eight videos eight. a month. Two, two times a week. Eight. It's even cheaper. You could do $2 a video and we'll shout your name with gusto. We were doing 12 and it got to be way too much. It was too much. That was several years ago. That's true. Sometimes eight is too much. And we threw we're it trying. live. Yeah, we used to do all kinds of crazy fun stuff like the boom. And then my tank couldn't take it. Longevity and consistency. Yeah. 10 years now. We got grit, baby. We got grit. Cheers. Cheers. Do you want to say anything about the stuff or did we go too long? By we, I mean me. Scotch it. He's got it. Slaunch it. Dummies. <laughs>